autumn is well and truly here. It seems as if overnight the seasons shifted, the days became colder and the nights came in faster. These changes are so visible now in the plants and in the behaviour of the animals who prepare for the cold. And with this beautiful shift of seasons, this week I was really looking forward to honouring and celebrating the old pagan celebration of Mabon. Mabon is also known as the autumn equinox, meaning it is a time when the hours of daylight and nighttime are equal, and it is also the second harvest festival of the year. Mabon is generally celebrated from the 21st till the 24th of September in the Northern Hemisphere. This very special time of year brings with it beautiful seasonal changes. The trees begin to shed their leaves, there is a new crispness in the air and a feeling of quiet preparation, as if nature herself is calling you to take a breath, slow down and prepare for the season of cold. Mabon celebrates the harvest, abundance and family, and it is a time of acknowledging this year and giving thanks. It is a time of gathering the harvest of the seeds that were sown earlier in the year, both physically and figuratively, and to me this is always a very special time of year. As a ballet teacher to children, in my mind the new year starts in September as I busily prepare my school for an exciting new term. And so this time of year, with all the seasonal changes happening all around, it really always feels like a brand new clean slate and a time of exciting beginnings, as well as a deep appreciation for the previous year. Apart from many things, I'm very grateful for my little balcony garden that has brought me so much joy and beautiful abundance this year and it really is a wonderful example how when learning something new and putting in time and lots of love, you can accomplish something that you may not think you could. At this time, the elderberry season has already passed here in the UK, however dried elderberries are also just as wonderful and medicinal, and so today I'm setting up an elderberry tincture to use in times of colds and flus. Tinctures are incredibly powerful herbal medicinal preparations, however they do need to be made in advance as they require 6-8 to eight weeks before they are potent and at their best. Today I wanted to craft something to celebrate Mabon and to decorate our home, and even though we live in a small apartment in a big city, I find so much joy in being creative and finding different ways to decorate our space seasonally.
I love decorating our home with crafted items I make myself, thrifted and second-hand things, and most of all, with little treasures I find in nature. And today, I'm using some roses that I dried from the summertime to make a little autumnal wreath to bring some more colour to our living space. Little projects like these are always so exciting to me as when you learn to live more in alignment with the seasons, I believe that even in a big city, you can find so much inspiration to live more slowly and mindfully. And crafting and decorating in this way always helps me to feel a lot more connected to nature and also really helps me to develop my creativity. As the seasons get slowly colder, I'm always inspired to do a lot more baking and bring a lovely cozy smell to the home. So today I'm making a simple apple pie to honour and celebrate the harvest season. Apple pie is something that my grandmother always used to make. And even though this particular recipe I make today isn't her recipe, it still always reminds me of her. Apples, as well as apple pie, are a staple in the traditions of Eastern European Jews, like my grandmother is, from Ukraine. And so making this cake always feels very special to me. As a lover of honeys and syrups, today I'm crafting an elderflower simple syrup with some elderflowers I had gathered and dried in the summer. This syrup is so tasty and goes with everything from cakes to pancakes to adding into your morning tea or coffee. It's simply delicious. I will leave the recipe for this and the apple cake in the description. This year so far has already been so full, full of different challenges for me, both physically and emotionally, but also so full of beauty and gratefulness. This time last year, I was only thinking about starting this channel and whether or not I could do it. However, I'm beyond thrilled that I took up the courage to do so and to share some of my life here with all of you. I have been able to connect here with so many of you and share thoughts and ideas and it's been so wonderful to connect with so many like-minded individuals. I am incredibly grateful for all of you and all the kindness you have shown me. 
I'm wishing you a wonderful Mabon, and may the rest of your year be everything your spirit desires. Have a lovely day or night.